Hello everybody and welcome back to the long war. So we have an exalt mission where we have to defend the transmitter again. And uh, I'm bringing this squad, it's decently strong I say. I'm trying to bring as much offensive power as possible on these missions. And we have uh, Doomsday, our gunner, we have Alvarez, our sniper. I gave him the laser sniper instead of the gauze rifle since the exalts don't have any mechanical units. Then we have Joe, our engineer. Edwards is our Overwatch medic. I always bring her to this, these missions. Then we have Castillo as our scout. And I gave him the drum magazine because he has in the zone. Maybe we can use that. And then we have Brunette, our assault. Ortiz is our infantry. And then we have Padilla. This is a new assault as well. We got from council request I think so he will bring a scatter laser and some supportive items as well so let's try this also I really feel like uh, my inexperience with the mid game uh, in Strike long one. war Prepare is being quite uh, obvious here because we have a couple of problems. Uh, I don't have enough uh, power sources to do, do research, so I have been like having an idle research team for a month. I also, these engineers, I have too few engineers with uh, repair, so I haven't been able to capture enough aliens. And that really puts us, us uh, behind, I think. So. I'm thinking if we are able to get get enough alloys to our operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when exalt forces moved into their AO. Mm. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of if, recovering uh, the data intact will be lost. We have a new objective. If we get enough alloys to research the Super Sky Ranger, I'm almost tempted to just go for an alien base assault. I should have brought a motion tracker. I guess, but too late now. Should we go for the roof? He's so naked without the motion tracker. So where do we have these uh, activable things? One over here. Is that the only one we can see? That can't be. It's kind of hard to see in the dark here. Do I have one there? Sure. Has to be one more. As we could go to easily. Anyways, um, either we go on this side. We will have a hard time finding cover though. That will. The problem is that the uh, exhaust. I think they can take positions behind these pillars, and they are indestructible. So that might give us a headache. Okay. If this area is clear, we should uh, put a firing squad all the way. We should try to secure this area. That's my idea. The problem is, uh, I don't really want to go dashing. At the same time, I feel like we are really far behind, so. Or far away, so. Do you have anyone that's tank enough to take that position, I guess? Or gunner? Je confirme la position. YOLO! Right. Oh, we got a ping as well? We seem to be really close to uh, the area though. This should enable us to actually put 
uh, you a bit closer as well. But let's not go oh, yeah, overboard. Yeah. <clears throat> right. High ground sniper. That's not the worst idea, but it's hard to find a good angle. And uh, if we go like uh, over to this location, <laughs> he's pretty exposed. Could take position here, but that's kind of a bad angle as well. Maybe this side. Get flying from down there, but. It would be nice to have like, an infantry in firing position as well. Everyone that can shoot twice should uh, get into as good position as possible. Well... Medics, man. The mobility, it's, it's incredible. And our engineer, also kind of tanky, so... Stepping up. All right. So there was no device back here. So this is the one we have to go for. We can go there with the running gun from this location, so it's not too bad. Is this full cover? I think so. Okay. Let's sneak a little bit closer. Double move. Double move. I don't want to all watch with you. I need the ammunition for running guns. Remember when I played the uh, Long War um, Beta 14? I had this map and I put like uh, someone with the will to survive behind this pillar and hunker down to, to keep this uh, area locked down. While we had like maybe four exalts standing over here, always taking shots at her, throwing grenades and stuff. <laughs> That was so funny. She actually survived the whole uh, whole mission. Right. This is really good. If we can get everyone into a position like this, we are golden. On the move. I'm a bit afraid of like finding something behind this van if I go up here. Yeah. Right. So should I take that position with Sniperino? I will actually not even go one square closer than that. That's a silly weapon just yet to be free tree or something nasty. Um right. I really feel like they are behind this. Um, is this a turn they will get respawns or is it the next one? I think it might be this one. I really have to start uh, thinking about this game a little bit more like, okay, what turns do they actually get uh, respawns? Things like that. Right. Just, uh, mm. I hope they don't get respawns behind us. Especially not behind the sniper. Maybe we should go for this uh, one instead with our operative. 
Is that the better choice than that one? Mm, I mean, this one is closer to this area, so there will be more exalts close there. But I feel bad. I mean, we haven't even started killing anyone yet. yet. Damn it, now I can't make it over there without waiting one turn, so... What? Let's get our assaults here. Um... Don't dash that way. I'll get you around this side instead. I mean, I'd, I can't go there on my last move. I just think I will know what you do because we might get spawning from this side. Because this turn they should spawn. We are in a decent position, but I would have liked to kill the one group before we got to this turn. Signatures closing on strike one, Commander. Multiple hostiles inbound. Two, that's a heavy. Commander, Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we yeah. don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. That's affirmative. Time for a grenade, I think. It's always a good start. Maybe kill this uh, heavy at least. And if it's really car, that will do a lot of damage. Alright, two guys down. Who was this? Do we have any snipers? Okay, we have like one heavy back here, that one we actually need able to flank. Go Jolo mode here. But, um, so, infantry, how is your shots? Let's try to kill that guy. Not sure why I'm shooting at the one that's not. In the cell here, but do I really want to activate this here with the running gun? It feels like such a waste, but I don't like uh, the heavies. I don't like the misses either. Pretty low level uh, infantry here, so. Yeah, I'm afraid of these rockets. Of this flag, <laughs> only six hit points. This is actually flanking position, but the only thing I can bring there is freaking assaults, man. I will most definitely trigger a group here. 
could flush him. But if I want to use flush, I kind of need to have him uh, suppressed or something. I guess if we flush him, that would take a lot of ammunition though. But that would make him move backwards, so we can't use rockets more than at us here. So. Time for us to actually hit something, I feel like. Um, okay, we are going to activate this. This is going a little bit too slow. damage at least. So now we should be safe to take this shot if we want to. Which we kind of want. Let's just take the position shot. Get in off cooldown or on cooldown or whatever. And since we will use this, we can barge in here. Sniper, one heavy, two operators. Yeah, this feels like I might have uh, rushed this a little bit too much. Using running gun for one freaking square, and then I will be. Out in the open here. If our operative can get close enough to one of those exalt communications relays deployed throughout the area, one they may be able to access the system and disable exalt communications using the recovered data's encryption keys. Enemy communications are down. That should keep exalt busy for a while. Take the shot. Two damage. Yep. This was like the worst uh, round ever. a waste of the close combat specialist. Look at all these guys, all these snipers, they will just uh, <laughs> kill us. Okay, don't panic. No one is actually moving here. But let's see. How far can we dash? Okay, we can dash all the way over here. So we can use command to actually do something here. We will use this one as well. This is uh, the all-in phase. Um, can we reach that car? That would be awesome sauce. This would be a lot of damage. That's how you use grenades. Um, So we could either go for a shot here and get a free overwatch, which I guess we have to do. And a kill as well, why not? And then we have an assault here. It's pretty far away, but I do have a flush. Let's try not to take cover behind cars. And you can dash. This is, I mean, getting high mobility assaults to do these missions, that's the best. Forty-one. 
Ah. Can happen. <laughs> Just shot into the freaking uh, <laughs> gas tank. Nice crit. Let's take a shot and reload. It's a heavy laser rifle, so I'm not too tempted to move. And then shoot. Hello! Don't mind me. I should have taken cover on the other side. Oh well. And if, if you can't see her, we are so screwed that this will be like the worst ever. Thank God for command. You disrupted the enemy communications network. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. Okay, that's a nice flank, these guys. Do a heal and then overwatch again. This time they might actually run a little bit since they are flanked, so. Dashy dash. <laughs> uh, chaos will be coming up here. Kill the, the medics before they start uh, throwing. Uh, Smoke grenades, that's always good. Come on, medic. Nice, we have one more overwatch shot, so I think I have ammunition steel as well. Nope. Okay, he just went into, into the open. Interesting. They're actually running away from the area, that's really strange. Exalt has additional reinforcements moving on strike one, commander. Yeah, big surprise. We are really lacking um, damage. Oops, much. Right. Um, we need to get our scout into the action here. This trigger is a watch, I hope so. Nope. In the zone. That's the worst <laughs> when you have in the zone and you miss. Um, Alright. You will get shot by a heavy. If you panic, we are screwed. This will not be a kill though. Is there anyone else that can take a shot at him? Mm. Yeah, I think we have to... We have to just flush. Not so much ammunition though. Let's offer crit instead. Nice. Is there any more of these? I hope so, but I don't think that it is. Maybe way back there. So let's take position behind it. Either. This. So. Oh, we have one more here. Hack it, baby. Hmm. It'll take Exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. <laughs> well, Snack, she's like uh, 007 or something, running around like this. Okay, more grenades. Heading to that location. Definitely need more grenades. The fact that uh, one guy survived with. Uh, 
one hit point against this in the zone. Makes me a little bit upset. Might throw a grenade on these guys, but. Don't care too much. Seven hit points. I think like uh, we have been a kind of unlucky here. Feel like. Let's hope this is a free guys kill. Thank you. At least grenades hit. That's what I like with grenades. In this game at least. Take a shot in the watch. Mm. If you flank him he might actually move. I'm almost thinking we should go like maybe over here and reload. I'm also thinking about getting our infantry into a better position. Maybe on top here. Seventy-two two. I mean, it's not. It's not good enough. We have two shots more. Okay. I think the exalt missions are one of the hardest to balance your squad around because yeah, we might eat some grenades here. Problem, but, uh, yeah. If you don't panic, this will be fine. Here and Overwatch. Interesting uh, way of tanking. Mm, let's scooch over here. What? That's not the flank. I'm gonna shoot at this guy instead then. This will take our last ammunition so I see no reason to actually take that shot. It's better to just uh, go closer and reload. That's a tempting shot but we have plenty of guys that can deal with him. We don't really need to deal with him either, so... I like to do precision shot on cooldown, uh, even if it might be better to use it against someone that's actually exposed, so we get like guaranteed hits. Or guaranteed crits. This guy though, he's uh, guaranteedly critting all the time, so... Who do you want to kill here? Sniper maybe? I don't like the fact that snipers can like shoot <laughs> at anyone at any time and uh, with a uh, really high crit chance as well. They have a hard time tanking 18 critical to the face though. Hmm. I could actually heal you as well before I... You can't heal on the other side of this pillar, which I kind of want you to. I want you to stand. Heading there now. Oh well. Hurrah! Killing the grenadier guy. We should just overwatch. We should get some in the zone kills here, maybe. Well, it's only 94. 
Let's uh, make sure it actually hits. And then it would not do 7 damage. In the zone. Something here, we'll get the grenade maybe. There is any more back here, maybe? I don't think so, but. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Enemy communications are down. I have misclicked one of these at one time that uh, didn't end good. Close combat specialist. Another auto ammunition. Nothing. Now he has cover when he runs. That might actually be a dash. Might be dashing for that. No. It's just that he ran in cover. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Okay, but we do not have any more transmitters, and we are getting low on ammunition. Sniper? Can we snipe the sniper? Nice. 84%. I don't want to in the zone that. Screw that. Um. Dangerous here. Let's shoot at that guy. Our biggest problem is uh, our uh, ammo supply just now. But at least now we can move around freely. Position will be flanked by that guy. Could go here and shoot at him. But the problem is that we only have a ghost, ghost carbine, so that will not be a guaranteed kill. But if we are able to. I mean, I guess we will not be flanked if we stand here. This guy shouldn't move here, I don't think so. 96. Have to take that. Alright, so we can kill him pretty easily. We have activated this. So we could use running gun to go in and do some uh, nasty deeds as well. Or we could go here and use um, hit and run. If we could see him, which we can't. Well, screw you then. Too bad we don't have Ranger. This way we can kill him with our engineer. Heading to that location. Um, or in the soul maybe. Uh, 
if I could see this guy from this location. Which I can't. That's too bad. Um, So my, uh, I guess we could use on the gun and shoot him with a pistol if it comes to that. Yeah, quiet. Nailed him. I think we have to do that. So go over here. Position confirmed. Give a heal. This, this is going to hurt. Hmm. Hmm. 60% shot. Well, let's take it. Nice! We got lucky! Whoa, whoa! We got lucky! Lucky, 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 lucky. You should see him from here, otherwise I will be a bit upset. Rapid fire. Six critical, decent. Wasn't the last guy. Whoops. Whoopsie whoops. Do we have a group we haven't activated? I kind of feel like it was a group back here. Well, we do not have any more respawns, so. Well, I will not just wait for them, uh, but I will get into better position and then move out. So, I feel like they might come over here, so I will scooch my sniper over slow and steady. Maybe I should use uh, the grappling to get over there. I like the fact that you don't use uh, both the shots when you use rapid fire anymore. That's really helpful for that uh, perk. Because before, if you used the rapid fire, you would always use two shots. I still think that was a strong ability, and it was kind of fun, I guess. Well, it was a little bit fun to try to calculate if one uh, rapid fire uh, was necessary, or if you would just be fine with one ordinary shot. This music, though. Je confirme la position. But. I'm not sure why, what I'm waiting for. I guess I'm waiting for my sniper, kind of. Uh, where is he? There is. Okay. Get all the way over there. Oop, can't. Okay, I don't think you need to be on this side. Let's see if we can get the ping at least where they are. And they are very much in the corner. That actually revealed much more than I thought it would do. 
I should want to bring my exalt. Uh, exalt. I feel like there. she has been doing enough. But everyone can be with us here. That's fine. First, I have no choice. Four guys, two operatives, and one medic, and one. You can't see them. It's kind of strange, I have to say. On the gun, can we deal with all these guys? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Where's the other run and gun guy? Here he is. We have to stand in the open though. Perfect position by any means. Boy. I'm feeling like I'm going to be a little bit sloppy here, <laughs> uh, which isn't a good thing. If you guys are wondering. Um, Really not. Um, so, I mean, they only have ballistic weapons, these guys, so it's not the end of the world, but still. So, the one that will do the most damage, I guess, it's the Rocketeer. Let's just hit around here. So the medic is kind of screwed because he will most likely just heal himself. So watch with you. Shoot at this guy. That made things uh, much easier. That's not a kill. Uh, high uh, hit chances we are missing here, I have to say. But we have this running gun activated already, so. Let's try to get this kill. Crit again, please. This new assault man. He is the shits. Critical. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm rolling. I don't think you will get an angle be between these tracks, but we'll see. If he moves, he should be dead by the Overwatch. Only 24, I felt like more. I'm just slow ass. I just hope the engineering crew can live up to the standards set by our troops after a mission like that. Alright, we actually have this is our first master sergeant assault, I think. This is a hard one to choose between. You are 
kind of like all in offensively so I think that vital point targeting is the way to go and you have so much hit points oh my god <laughs> 8 hit points sure lightning reflexes isn't bad but there are ways around overwatches like suppression and stuff more damage 9 hit points that's crazy you are the infantry that missed all the time. You, I'm actually going with uh, all in offensive build here. Maybe I should get uh, dead eye though, so you at least can hit the flying units. Because that aim is not very good for an infantry. Like, I will have to get everything that give, bumps up your aim, I feel like. But Ranger is good. Ranger is really good. <laughs> Screw it. Plus two aim. That's pretty bad, I think. Now we have two assaults. Alright. Um, but you are our... This aim is kind of a waste on an assault that's our operative. But lightning reflexes on you makes a little bit more sense, I think. Because then you can run in, use hit and run, break overwatches, take a shot, run back. Excel Intel decryption complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. Hmm. What we should do is that we should really get this going though. Augmented soldier. I still haven't decided on which class. Um, if we have anyone that's been wounded, gravely wounded, we should try to prioritize them like this assault maybe Oprah pretty low aim so maybe I will chop her yeah I think I will do that so let's see when she gets ready also I feel like uh, I have been uh, not building enough um, workshops because um, that should help with our uh, alloy situation and also I, I should have been uh, to support the research team commander I've already more put aggressive with these the uh, psionic trainings I think The problem is I need to get uh, to capture sector so I actually get Psy inspiration I think or is it mind merge? I can't remember which uh, ability I get but that would be really useful. Oops, this is the wrong place. I was going to Psy Labs and then Media one that's going to land, or is it? What? What the hell did that do? Not that we could intercept it, but still, map of the Earth. I guess it was a bombing run, but don't they usually fly low then? Hmm. Anyways, this isn't looking that great. Maybe we should get the new aircraft as well. Do we have any more weapons though? Spending a lot of money on my aircrafts here. Hmm. 
Who was I waiting for? <laughs> I got to remember. We should get our uh, old plant guy back here. Was an assault. Yeah, pit bull, 15 hours. Nice, some more armor. Now she has to be ready, what's up with this? Did I miss her? Must have missed that she was ready. Yeah, she's ready. What kind of abilities does she have? She's in one of these all-in assaults. Yeah. It's time, augment her. And then I missed her again, there she is. She will get close encounters. We'll consult with Dr. Valen for the requisite amputations and begin installing the cyber... Phoenix channel coming up. Excavation complete. Nice. Feeling a bit feels strange that we haven't gotten more missions. Makes me a bit worried. Because, um, yeah. Nice. Don't want to put anyone more into the tank here. The scout. Problem is, I kind of want to have uh, all the floss ready here because it's such a useful scout to have. Oh, by the way, we should also get. Uh, well, we're getting so many people uh, size sensitive. We should go and research this as well. One hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. It's a lot of money. Um, well, it's not that much, but sending Illyrium might be a bad idea. Oh, foundry. So, side warfare systems. Go. Some weapon fragments. Actually, I actually have a lot of weapon fragments now. The, is the problem is smelled and the freaking sure. research. We are getting so far behind on the research here. Laser rifles for Corporal. We don't really use our laser rifles anymore, I don't think, so we could do this. The problem is that we could only just sell them. And uh, also, they can be used in base defense. Let's check how much it costs to build first. Laser rifle. So that's like 100 bucks and uh, 30 alloys. So it's pretty much money we have spent. And if we just sell them. Where are they? Okay, so. Well. That's not too bad. 50 bucks for. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I don't think we have a reason to save them. I mean, sure, for the base defense, but it will not make or break the base defense. Also, we need a satellite to launch in Russia. No. Do we have any satellites ready? No. Do not. That's bad. I'm not going up. <laughs> I always forget what I've been doing because I haven't played this game for quite some while. Um, Contact detected. Large one, map of the earth. Abduction or landing zone. But also, we have a guy ready here with have launched missiles. Commander, 
during these UFO contacts, abduction. We're putting our entire satellite network at risk. Yeah, so abduction swarming. Abductions in progress are urban block. Hollow globe. Right. So it's a swarming activity, but we need to get some freaking uh, <laughs> captures. Do we have our engineer ready now? Kim, I think she's she's not ready. Too bad. But all our other soldiers are ready, but uh, Wozniak here, so that's good. So we can make a strong squad, but it's hard to decide how strong it should be. But uh, anyways, I will do that in the next episode. Thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!